Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial and I'm going to be showing you guys how to recreate a king chess piece using the spline tool. So we're going to go ahead and uh, create new new design. We're going to draw this in inches, so we'll go ahead and click the plan view there. We'll minimize. We're going to move this over. We're going to click and drag our uh, JPEG file in. Okay, so we're going to recreate this. We only really need to create half of the shape and then revolve it around, but I'm going to actually be showing you how to use the spline tool and why it's important to use the spline tool. Um, so we're going to go ahead. Um, let's actually draw a line. Let's turn off our uh, snap to grid. And then we're just going to go ahead and put a line straight down the middle here. Okay, so the spline tool is useful because it can be adjusted, unlike some of the other lines that can't be. So we'll go ahead and uh, just start drawing. We don't, you don't have to be too specific about this. Just click and just add some, uh, some points. I'll end it there, and we'll go ahead and draw this line across here. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up here. Okay, and we can put the cross in later. So what's nice about the spline tool is if you click on it, you get all these little nodes. So if we control plus and zoom in, we can just, it's really easy to adjust this stuff. So you don't really have to be too detailed in your drawing. Uh, as long as you've got some points there, you can go ahead and adjust. Uh, which is, which is handy to have because you don't, like I was saying, you don't have to be uh, super detailed in your drawing. As long as you got the nodes, you go ahead and edit them. And then eventually you'll have uh, the shape that you're looking for. Okay, that's not too bad. We'll go ahead and pan down. And we'll adjust these. Not too bad. We'll pull this, maybe pull that piece in a little bit. Actually, let's bring this out. Let's pan down. Click the line again. And you can also delete segments too if you want to make, if you don't like a segment, you can delete it. Okay, this don't look too bad. And then you can just drag this into place, kind of see where you might need to make some more adjustments. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's drag this over. Kind of pan up as we go so we'll know where to make our adjustments. Go 
go ahead and pull down on that handle there. Just move that out. Go ahead and pull this in a little bit. Let's do a pan. Grab that arrow right there and straighten it out. Okay, this needs a little adjusting here and then should be good. Now we'll go ahead and pan down. Probably a little adjusting there. Let's bring this in a little bit. Pan down. Let's bring this down here. Go ahead and click on that line. Let's bring, it, bring this down. Let's bring this in a little bit. Let's bring that over. Bring that down a little bit. Okay, this is not that bad. This is all right. So we'll go ahead and pan down. Now we're going to create our little uh, cross there. Go ahead and put a line in there. And then we'll right mouse click on that. Set as mirror line. We're going to drag this. Uh, Graphic over a little bit, get a rectangle tool, click to there, get our air align tool. I'm going to go out to there, up to there, and over. Then we're going to drag up with the rectangle tool to get this little piece here. Okay, now we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Now we'll get our trim away tool. We only need half of this stuff, so. Okay, now we'll get rid of that. Get rid of the mirror line. Okay, um. We need this actually to be separate from here. So we'll go ahead and uh, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that line there. Let's go ahead and select everything. And then hold down the control key to get that. And go ahead and get our move tool. Let's move this up a little bit. This actually has to be revolved around, so go ahead and put a line down here. This is going to be our center. So we'll go ahead and get rid of this line and put another line over there. Now we'll get our trim away. Let's trim away that and that. Now we're going to connect that and then we're going to extrude this piece out. So we'll Control minus, get our line tool, go from endpoint to endpoint. Let's control plus, let's pan up. Go ahead and get our trim away tool, let's trim away that. Now we're going to go ahead and revolve, then we're going to pull this, grab our revolve, revolve from there, pull, pull. Okay, this is half of our king piece that we, we created using the spline tool. Um, now we're going to go ahead and recreate this piece here. So we'll, we're going to right mouse click on that. Let's just add another line in there. So we'll go ahead and go to there, click that, click line. 
Hmm. Not really supposed to be doing that, but okay. Let's get our line tool. Let's get rid of that. Let's go up here to create corner. Okay. Let's go ahead and put a uh, let's put a rectangle in there, but we'll define it from center. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to grab our trim away. Okay. Now let's go ahead and spin this. Pull. We're going to pull from both sides, so we're going to change that down there. 0 0.160. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and select that piece and then we're going to move it down. All right. It's going to be our uh, our chest piece. Control minus. Let's go to view top. So we create we created this just with the spline tool, which is nice and using the adjustments. So we'll go ahead and control plus. The only other thing I want to do is put a fillet in here, small one, 0 0.20, put a fillet here, 0 0.20, let's pan down, let's go ahead and select everything on this, pull, going to create an 0 0.10, Fill it. We'll spin this around to the back. Pull, we'll do click till everything's selected. We'll drag 0.010. Then we'll go back to top view. All right, this is going to be our, uh, our chest piece. It's control plus. A couple more details I wanted to change. Go ahead and spin this. I want to put a pull right here. Let's go 0 0.30. Pull, pull that right there. 0 0.30. that's going to do it. Go to top. All right, that's going to end to today's tutorial on creating the king chest piece using the spline tool and then uh, afterwards adjusting the spline with your uh, by clicking on it and moving the uh, points around and then adding the cross at the top. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed watching and you got something useful out of this video. Thanks again for watching.